So hello guys, my name is Sola and I'm back with another Minecraft video guys. So today I'm going to be doing a Skyblock video. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get EXP experience quickly in Skyblock without that much gear, with like low gear. There will be three areas I will be comparing today in the Deep Caverns called the Lapis Quarry, the Pigment's Den, and the Slime Hill. I did a lot of other stuff other than uh, the mines like fishing but you barely get any XP, and I had a good ward, okay? One of my friends um, had a god ward, and he still wasn't able to get as much experience as like mining emeralds. And the blazing fortress, it won't give you that much experience. I mean, the quartz give you fair amount of experience, but they're really spread apart, and the glowstone is really close to the lava, so you could get yourself burnt. I'm gonna be doing only the deep caverns today. So we're gonna go to the pigments den, because that's the first place on the list. The pigments den is where all the pigment and redstone are. So it's between the lapis quarry and the slime hill. Lapis quarry, slime hill, but we're gonna go to the pigments den. I'm gonna start a five minute timer to see how much XP we can get in five minutes. I'm at 34 right now, so let's start. Okay, started. Take this then. It will give you one to five XP for mining each redstone ore. So on average, three XP for mining redstone ore. Each pigment you kill will always give you five XP. So if you mine one redstone and kill one pigment, it will give you eight XP. But the only problem is that when someone attacks the pigment, anyone, it doesn't even have to be you, they will start attacking all the players. It's not like survival. If someone attacks the pigment, they all start attacking you. They do a lot of damage, like it's really hard to run away from them, and they shoot fire projectiles, which is really, really painful. Come on, pigment, try to shoot me. The pigment can't climb. Well, they can, but like, they're really slow at reacting. Come on, I, I tracked in them both. Okay. What? The big men have wee chats. Stop with the wee chats! Even the mobs are hacking now. Solo played a bunch of pigmen. Oh, oh, look at a bunch of you. Doofy. They, you don't even know how to climb. Thank you. Wee XP. Come attack me. What? What? Oh, okay, the time landed. The time landed. I got, I'm at 38 levels, so I think I got six levels, but I don't really know how to count. The slime hill is between Diamond Reserve and Pigment's Den, and there's a lot of slime and emeralds. So let's start the timer. Okay, and let's go to the area. Oh god, there's a lot of slime. The emeralds would give at least three and at most seven XP, so that's on average five XP. The big slime gives you four XP, and the tiny slimes or the medium-sized slimes give you two. A problem though is that the slimes are everywhere. Like, the hitboxes are broken. Like, sometimes they spawn inside of you and you can't hit them, but they can still hit you. Also, the big slimes knock you back a lot, just wasting a lot of time. I know you can vote, but that's just wasting a lot of it. But the good thing is, the emerald will give you on average five XP, and that is almost double pigment set and lapis quarry. So that like more than like makes up for the problem. Now the slimes are hacking too. They have invincibility. Oh boy. Okay, that's easy enough. Got it. But there's just so many slimes that it's like ruining my ear sight in my Oh God. Okay, I've got it. There's just so much. So, oh, these haven't regenerated yet. Let's go to a different area. Um, different area, you can more slime. Oh. How are you deflecting my arrows? Okay, yay, I have a warrior. I can have a slime hat too now, okay. I feel like when I do this, it does more damage than regular. Maybe that's just me thinking something. Oh, God. What? Okay. I should go to mining more emeralds. Oh, this is sad. I think this is all I can do for now. Come on, slime, you, want, you know you wanna die. Okay, thank you. The surprising thing is that emeralds give more XP than slimes. Even the big slimes. The, the big slimes are hard to kill. Wait, the time we just ended. As a slime, I was able to go from 42 to 48, which is like a lot of levels. But now let's test the um, lapis quarry. So go, the lapis quarry is between the gunpowder mines and the pigment stand. So five minutes time will start right now. Each lapis oil will give you between two and five XP, so that's 2.5. A little bit more than redstone, but still a lot less than the slime. Each zombie gives you 5 XP, which is really good compared to the Slime Hill and the Pigment Stand. 
The slime hill may seem easily the best, but not so quickly. You can craft regular and grand XP bottles with lapis. And also the Titanic bottles of XP. Bottles are enchanting gives between three and 11. So that's on average seven XP for six lapis and one bottle. A grand bottle of XP gives around 2,805 XP. And that is like a lot, 2,805. And that only costs six enchanted lapis lazuli, or that's 960 lapis lazuli. And 2,805 XP is the same thing as 45 lapis. And the Titanic bottle of enchanting, you need 8,640 lapis lazuli, or six enchanted blocks of lapis lazuli. But it gives you 226,648 XP, or around 220 levels. But just keep in mind that you need to unlock the recipe for all of them. And I think I should actually start mining the lapis ore around here. Yeah, that'll probably give me more XP. Thank you for the XP. XP for days. <gasps> I got the lapis ore more hell. I can't even pick that up, but I don't need this much uh, bucket. Okay, I got a lapis on the helmet. Another one. Okay, I don't know what's hitting me. But I just need to kill a lot of these zombies. Level 50, Sayate. Okay, so I don't know throw out. Okay, so. Yeah, killing you with a diamond pickaxe. So the time is almost gonna end. And I just wanna also make like XP bottles. I don't need this for. Oh, the time ended. So in the end, the slime hill was the best way to get XP. I counted how much XP I got. The pigments then I got about around 500. The Lapis Koei I got a bit more than a thousand, and the slime hill I got around 1,800. The slime hill was easily the best, and the pigment sand was easily the worst. So I think you should go grind in the slime hill. But if you have really bad gear, like um, I would normally suggest go to the lapis Koei. But yeah, so that was it. I hope you liked my video, and well, bye bye.